Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Snowflake. In this tutorial, we are going to see what is cold, warm and hot virtual warehouses in Snowflake. If you enjoy these kind of tutorials, then please consider subscribing my channel. Your support is really appreciated. So let's go ahead and see what is this cold, warm and hot virtual warehouses. Before we're going to see all these states, let's understand what is virtual warehouse? The virtual warehouse in the snowflake is nothing but it is a cluster of computing resources. These computing resources are used to perform various operations such as DML operations or SQL execution. Mainly, these computer resources consist of, of the memory, CPU and the temporary storage. When we use the virtual warehouse, we are using these computing resources and the main expenses occurs because of usage of these computing resources. So it's very important to know when we are going to use or when we are not going to use these virtual warehouses. And we are also going to see how it is related to the, the states of the virtual warehouse. So when we use the cold or warm or hot warehouse, in which kind of virtual warehouse the more expenses will occur. So these are the things we are going to see in this tutorial. Let's have a look on the snowflake architecture because the states that is cold, warm and hot virtual warehouse are depend on the, the architecture. So we need to know at least basic of the snowflake architecture as we know there are three layers in the Snowflake architecture, database storage, compute layer and the cloud services. If you have already gone through my previous tutorial about the caching, then you might already aware that the cloud services has its own caching area and the compute layer also holds its own caching area on each virtual warehouse node. So here the highlighted one is nothing but the, the caching area. Now we know the what is virtual warehouse, what is the snowflake architecture. Now let's go ahead and see what are the states of the virtual warehouse. The virtual warehouse goes through various states and these are cold virtual warehouse, warm virtual warehouse and hot virtual warehouse. So let's start understanding what is cold virtual warehouse. When we start a completely new virtual warehouse, that means the state of virtual warehouse in running state and on such newly started virtual warehouse, if we execute SQL statement or DML statement, it will first hit to the cloud services layer. From there, it will go to the compute layer to process the request and then it will connect to the database storage and it will pull the data from the database storage and will come back to the cloud services through the compute layer. In this case, as it is a very first request and it will not be using the cloud services caching and the compute layer caching. In case our virtual warehouse is suspended or not active and if you run the SQL statement or the query, it will start a completely new instance. So in the both the cases, so when we execute or when we start the new virtual warehouse or if the virtual warehouse is in suspended and when we execute the query, it will become active again. In the both the cases, it will connect to the database storage. And this state of the virtual warehouse is called as a cold virtual warehouse. And this is very expensive warehouse because each time it has to connect to the database. Let's understand what is warm virtual warehouse. It is the state of the virtual warehouse during which the virtual warehouse is active and running for a while and also have processed some queries. As in that, the virtual warehouse is in warm state. That means the virtual warehouse is already running an active state. And if you disable the result cache, that is nothing but the cache from the cloud services, and if you execute the query, 
then it will use the local disk cache that means the cache from the compute layer will be used this caching is called warm caching or this kind of virtual warehouse state is called as a warm virtual warehouse during the warm virtual warehouse the cache is getting disabled at the cloud services layer and the virtual warehouse is already in active and running state and during this if you execute the query it will execute the query against the compute layer but it will use the local cache that is compute layer cache and it will not connect to the database storage to pull the data compared to cold virtual warehouse warm virtual warehouse is less expensive but it is not optimum for the performance aspect hence it will come the next state of the virtual warehouse called as hot virtual warehouse the hot virtual warehouse is it is a state of the virtual warehouse during which the virtual warehouse is active and running for a while and also has processed the some queries however in this case the result cache or the cloud services cache is enabled and in such case if you execute the query it will use the result cache and result will be returned to the calling system so in short the summary of this whole hot cold and warm virtual warehouse is listed here performance wise the cold warehouse takes a longer duration to execute query compared to the warm and hot virtual warehouse if we need a better performance then we recommend to leverage the cloud services cache because cloud services cache will return the result very quickly hence the performance is very good with the hot virtual warehouses during the cold virtual warehouse state the remote disk will be used that means database storage will be used to return the result on the other hand for the warm and hot virtual warehouses the remote disk will not be used rather it will leverage the caching from the local disk and the result disk respectively the local cache will not be used for the cold storage as we know but definitely it is used for the warm virtual warehouses the result cache only get used if you are if the virtual warehouse is in hot state so in short if you use the hot virtual warehouse then your expenses will be less because it is going to use the caching from the cloud services layer i hope you understand what is the difference between the warm hot and the cold virtual warehouses and when those occurs and which is more beneficial i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you